What's up guys? Um, so this is a weird video and I'm, I'm actually, well, I don't even, I don't know how I'm going to say this without sounding like a complete lunatic, especially after just leaving Mexico and hanging out with saying I got this spike through my nose. I thought this looked cool. Jeez. Okay. I'm going to take this out. Let me try to look a little presentable before I tell this story. <sighs> okay. So when I was in, oh shit. That is gonna make this next, this, that, that's a good start to this story. When I was in India um, last September, I was filming a, a travel series called Of Earth, which is gonna come out in October uh, on my YouTube channel. It's, it's, I had a whole production thing and it was, I put a lot of money into it. But anyways, we were in India and um, filming this series. And we met a guy named Kashi Baba. And Kashi Baba was, um, he's an Agori Baba. And, well, he was going to do all kinds of crazy stuff for us that uh, you guys will have to wait and see. One night we were hanging out with Kashi Baba. And uh, we're in Varanasi, which is a holy city in India. And it's a really sacred city, and um, it's so sacred, in fact, that people actually want to die there or want their bodies to be burned there. So people from all over India or all over the world, Hindus from all over the world, will come here to be burned next to the Ganga in Varanasi from a flame that's been lit for 3,000 years. There's a group of people that have been working generation from generation to keep this flame alive, and every body that is burned, probably up to 500 bodies a day sometimes are burned here. They're all lit from that flame. And uh, these Agori Babas, like Kashi Baba, do all these kind of really dark rituals and these kind of, uh, they really confront the darkness, the dark side of things. And they hang out at these cremation grounds and watch these people burn all the time. And that's actually where we met Kashi Baba, was just next to this body that was being burned. <sighs> Long story short, Kashi Baba gave me this gift of a bunch of human ash that he collected from one of the piles of you know where they burn people and these Agori Babas cover themselves in this ash as kind of a way to recognize um, the temporariness of things the divinity and even in even this in, in death so he gave me this gift what they call in India Prasad um, Shiva Prasad I see him do it I watch him walk over and start collecting ash within a newspaper and the fire's still kind of, you know, it's embered. I mean, there's no body there at this time. The body's already been moved. But the, it's like the remain uh, or the transitional period to where they're about to put a body there or the body had just left. And he ran over there and started collecting this stuff. And I was watching him do it. And um, as he was doing it, I watched his long robe. The back of his robe started to catch on fire. And I was like, this is, uh, how long is it going to take him to realize that he's not, that he's catching on fire? And it got, it like... It started off small, and I was like, look, Kashi Baba's catching on fire. And all of a sudden, it goes, and the whole back of his uh, his uh, sadhu clothes caught on fire. And he, he stomped it out, and he was okay. He didn't get hurt or, or nothing. But I was like, that's a bad omen, Kashi Baba. And then he walks over and hands it to me. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <sighs> At the time, I thought it was cool. I was like, this is... A cool story this is a cool gift to be given from uh, a sadhu and I'm in this holy city and they view it as holy and it's um, it's just it's just it was I thought it was cool and um, I carried this ash all around India with me and actually I met an, another Agori Baba who put ash on my forehead and you guys will see all these all this filmed in uh, in my of earth series that's coming out so other Agori I met this other Agori and he wiped ash on my forehead human ash covered it on my forehead and we went and watched the Gunga Arti and you know I, I feel like I'm a kind of a student of culture and specifically Indian culture I love Indian culture and so I, I try not to, to to be kind of I don't want to be Judge Judy and and uh, and um, you know kind of an alien and I don't, I don't want to I don't want to 
put a spotlight on a culture I don't understand because I mean Americans and everyone everyone's got their own weird stuff and I mean this is particularly weird and you know I admit it it, it was uh, a little spooky I guess I mean so anyways fast forward months later I'm back at home I put the ash over here on my puja. And, um, well, this is where it gets weird, okay? So, my bed is right here behind us. And ever since I brought it home, I feel like there's people. You know, like when you get that feeling that someone's looking at you? And I don't really believe in ghosts. I mean, I've had some interesting experiences on psychedelics that have made me question my doubts, but like, I don't believe that human beings die and then haunt a house, you know what I mean? I don't believe in ghosts in that kind of sense, in the traditional sense of a ghost. I feel like it's unlikely, but I do feel like there's people watching me from this area all the time. All the time I feel like that. And... Um, this is weird. Check this out, right? My friend was staying the night without knowing anything about my weirdness. She was staying the night and she had a nightmare at my house about an Indian guy trying to strangle her and choke her. He was really upset and he was really furious and mad and he was like, you know, just trying to kill her and she was like, he was Indian. He was an Indian guy and I was like, okay, well... Damn it, Kashi Baba. You cursed me. But, um... I thought that was weird. And, um... Okay, so... And I was, uh, I was on a live stream. I was on a live stream here on YouTube. I was on a live stream here on YouTube. And I was telling this story about how... Someone asked me if I believe in ghosts. And I was like, not really, but I do kind of feel this eerie fe feeling from the corner of my room, and this is the story why. And Kashi Baba told me all kinds of stuff, that he's seen demons and stuff like that. This guy was a far out guy. And uh, I can't wait for you guys to see him in my in the Of Earth series. <sighs> but, um... Someone said that I should bring the ashes back to Varanasi to put the ashes back in the Gunga. Like, that's, where, that's where they wanted to belong. You know, that's why they were there, because they wanted to be in the Gunga. And I was like, yeah, you're right, that's a good idea. Oh, and what I was gonna say about that guy that rubbed ash in my forehead, in India, these bathrooms are small, so to be like a little room, like the shower will basically shower right on the toilet. It's, it's small and the, you know, the sink will be right in front of the shower. And that's the situation I was in. I was taking a shower after having this ash rubbed on my head by this agori. And agoris, people call them cannibals because they do all kinds of rituals where they eat dead bodies and stuff. So I was hanging out with some really crazy people. And so I'm staring at myself in the mirror as I have this human ash that was rubbed on my forehead. And I'm just watching it wash away. It was such a weird, profound experience to just see, like, it's just like, fuck, man, there it is. That's it. It's just like, these people, like, this person is just, like, it's just ash being washed away. Just being, you're just ash being washed away. A person that had relationships, they had families, they went through heartache. They were once a little kid that was sneaking out and getting into mischief and... To just see all that being reduced to this dust, uh, it was really profound to to just go through that. And um, but anyways, this is an adventure I decided that I'm going to go back on. And I just bought a ticket to India, and I'm going to take the ash back with me to India. I'm going to go to Varanasi. I'm going to return the people back to where they want, to where they, where they belong. So. Um, I'm excited to take you guys along with me on that adventure, and also my grandma died, um, which you guys have heard me talk about on my channel now for the past two months, and um, she, right before she died, she was like, next year we're going to go to India, and we're going to climb a mountain and meet 
meet one of those old wise men. So I'm going to go try to find a mountain, and I'm going to take my grandma up there with me and carry a picture with her or something of her. And uh, so this is just some stuff I've been thinking about as I'm planning for this India trip, and I just wanted to share that story with you guys because it's kind of creepy, and um, I feel... I feel like it's the right thing to do to, to, to bring them back to the Ganga and to bring them back to Varanasi. Interesting karma, though, to be dragged across America only to be, to be brought back. <sighs> yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, I'm meet up. I'm going to do a meetup in New Delhi also. And the people that will be traveling with me, some, some of my best friends will be there. Steffi Lee which I'm so excited. Fuck, I can't, I've never traveled India with a bunch of my best friends before. It's going to be great. Well, I guess I did with that series. But we were only together for a couple weeks. This is, We're going to be together for at least a month, all of us. Steffi. So who's this is who's going to be there. Steffi Lee, your mate Tom, and Clara from Spirit Vehicle, and me. So the, the four of us and probably some other stragglers along the way are going to be vlogging our way around India. And, um... Yeah. We're gonna do, and we're gonna be doing a meetup in Delhi on August fourth at three p.m. at India Gate in the grass next to India Gate. So um, make sure to follow me on Instagram uh, to be on the lookout for that and to make sure you don't miss uh, getting to hang out with us while we're while we're there. Yeah, I just wanted to share that story, and uh, well, I can't wait to 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 bring these people back to where they belong, and uh, yeah. I'm excited to bring you guys along for this kind of liberating journey because these people believe that the Ganga liberates them from the cycle of death and rebirth. So, you know, I feel in a way, the way these Agori people view the ash is very sacred, but I'm not really a practicing Agori. So I feel like, you know, it's not my place to cover myself in their ash and I feel like it, it's my place, if anything, my service to bring, to bring them back. So, my name's Dakota. This is my YouTube channel. Make sure to just click subscribe so you don't miss any of these upcoming India videos. I'm leaving next month, so it's coming soon. Um, Om.